Good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, in the last lecture we started with Boning Hussain's concept of totality. Today we will discuss in detail about Boning Hussain's concept of totality. What is totality of symptom? So literally totality of symptom means all the symptoms which the patient presents. Totality of symptoms must represent a disease condition in its whole extent. It must identify the whole sickness of an individual with all its individualizing characteristics. So we all know that why we construct totality of after taking each case because totality gives us the exact idea of individual as well as exact idea of disease condition whatever the patient was suffering in constructing during constructing this Ponigusen's therapeutic pocket book uh, which is based on the grouping of symptoms and which is according to instructions of Dr. Hanneman. We all know Dr. Hanneman guided Dr. Boning Hussel uh, while constructing this repertory. Uh, Dr. Boning Hussel, he believed that this totality of symptom it, it was not only the sum total of symptom it is sum total of symptom but not only the sum total of symptom but it uh, it but it was in itself one grand symptom of the patient and that whether the individual parts of the symptoms were considered or the grand symptom, symptom, the totality itself. So, according to Dr. Boni Hussain, while constructing totality of the case, we have to consider symptom as a complete symptom or we have to construct the totality as a uh, grand symptom. So, according to Dr. Boni Hussain, he gave importance to grand symptom and afterwards he introduced the doctrine of complete symptom. So he gave importance to complete symptom. Means according to him, first we have to consider the location of the suffering of patient. Then we have to consider the sensation. Then modalities whatever present uh, for the disease condition and afterwards the concomitants which are very much important while taking the case. So he advised to take the totality as it was in, in uh, it was in itself one grand symptom of the patient means while taking one symptom we ask the patient what is the location of symptom what is the uh, or suffering what is the sensation what are the modalities is there any aggravating factors ameliorating factors as well as is there any concomitant symptoms present or not in the same way while constructing the totality we have to construct the totality as it was one grand symptom of the patient. So, while constructing totality, we have to construct the totality as a grand symptom. So, what, I, what comes under location? Location is the part, organs or tissue involved in the disease process. This was also we discussed in the previous lecture that is location is nothing but the part, organs or tissue involved in disease process. Then what is sensation? What comes under sensation or which things we consider under sensation? So the kind of pain, 
the type of pain type of sensations and functional or organic changes characterizing the morbid process so it came under sensation then modality means the condition of aggravation or amelioration of the symptoms the circumstances causing existing increasing or otherwise affording modification or relief of the suffering the symptom cannot be considered and it cannot be peculiar to and characteristic of an individual patient unless qualified by the three above mentioned factors that means unless the totality or the symptom which is qualified by location sensation and modality unless it was qualified by these three things it was not considered as a peculiar and characteristic of an individual patient so if we are taking the symptom as a peculiar symptom symptom as a characteristic symptom then that symptom should have location sensation modalities as well and with this dr boning hussain he gave special value to concomitants in the selection of similar remedy so this is about while taking the history we have to consider location sensation modalities but to find out the exact similimum to find out the or, or during selection of similar remedy the concomitant symptoms they are very much helpful for us so dr boning hussain he emphasized on a special value of the concomitants in the selection of similar remedy so after consideration of location sensation and modality means after consideration of grand symptom we have to give importance to the concomitant symptoms as well means while constructing or while taking the symptom as a complete symptom we have to consider its location sensation modality as well as concomitants dr boning hussain he accepted or he followed dr hanemann and he accepted the fundamentals which are given by dr hanemann that means it is the patient who is ill and not his parts or organs this was the concept given by dr hanemann that the patient was ill not his part not his organ we should never consider his part or organ of the body because it was not ill but the patient was ill and so we have to consider the person as a whole nothing can be known of disease except signs and symptoms means disease is nothing but the signs and symptoms it cannot represent the nature of person it cannot represent the characteristics of the individual so with the signs and symptoms or with disease symptoms with information of the suffering of the patient we cannot get or we cannot able to individualize the patient but we only diagnose the disease condition we only find out the what the patient was suffering or or by which disease condition the patient was suffering then symptoms furnish the only unfailing guide to the selection of the remedy 
begins only with the help of symptoms when we are going to choose the remedy when we are going to treat the patient after collecting only the disease symptoms then there are more chances of failure in the uh, while treating the patient so we never considered the parts part or organ of the patient we never considered the disease symptoms we never considered the signs and symptoms of the patient we have to consider the person as a whole then peculiar characteristic individualizing symptoms in the case and not the common symptom denote the similimum so to find out the similimum we have to find out the peculiar uncommon characteristic symptoms in the case we have to find out which are the uncommon symptoms of the condition whatever the patient was suffering so that and only at that time we can get the or we can reach towards the exact similimum so this was these are the fundamentals these are the guidelines which are given by dr haneman that when we go to find out the similimum with the help of symptoms with the help of uh, signs and symptoms or when we consider only common symptoms when we consider the symptoms of the disease symptoms of parts of body symptoms of organ then definitely we cannot able to reach towards the similimum and these fundamental principles these uh, concepts which are given by dr haneman they followed by dr boni husain while constructing or while uh, work out on any case totality of symptoms all the perceptible signs represent the disease in the whole extent that is together they form the true and only conceivable portrait of the disease means all the signs together they form the conceivable portrait of the disease once the case taking is accurately sketched the most difficult part of the task is accomplished so the case taking is the most important part of the case taking the aim in collecting and studying the totality of symptoms of the sick is to meet the disorder of the vital force with a similar disorder producing drug from our materia medica so to after constructing after taking the proper case we have to construct the proper totality and after making the proper totality we have to match that totality of the patient to the totality of the medicine from our materia medica it is not mathematical calculation of symptoms but a logical combination of symptoms so to make totality to construct totality it was not a mathematical calculation but it is only the logic we have to use the logic and logically we have to combine the symptoms to construct the proper totality then totality of symptoms its utility its therapeutic purpose purpose 
टू अंडरस्टैंड रेमेडी रिएक्शन एंड डायग्नोस्टिक पर्पज द टोटैलिटी इज हेल्पफुल सो वट इज द यूटिलिटी ऑफ द टोटैलिटी ऑफ सिम्टम दैट इज फॉर थेरापेटिक पर्पज आफ्टर कंस्ट्रक्टिंग द टोटैलिटी वी कैन एबल टू रीच टूवर्ड्स डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द सफरिंग ऑफ द पेशंट सो we with the help of diagnosis we can find out the other medicines which are indicated for that disease condition so the totality of symptom it is used as a therapeutic purpose then to understand remedy reaction as well as for diagnostic purpose the totality is useful then what is dr boning hussain's concept that is different attributes must be completed with regard to its location sensation modality and concomitant which we discussed just now in detail and by constructing this totality it should have a chronological order of development and progress so in chronological order we have to write down the sufferings of the patient as well as the progress in his disease condition must be divisible into subjective and objective ones and into generals and particulars so the symptoms we can divide the sum symptoms into subjective symptom as well as objective symptom as well as we have to separate general symptoms and particular symptoms so that it was easy to construct the totality each of the general and particular should have common and uncommon then in general symptoms some symptoms are common general symptoms and some symptoms are uncommon general symptoms as for example if there is thirst in fever so due to dehydration there is thirst in fever the patient was thirsty during fever so it was common symptom for that disease condition but if there is high grade fever and then also the patient is totally thirstless he does not want water to drink for a long time then it was a uncommon general symptom so each general and particular symptoms the particular symptoms which are related to part and organ we have to divide these symptoms into common and uncommon symptoms then peculiar combinations for example concomitant alternations extensions negative general causations unexpected deviations sensation as if and onsets must be clearly noted so we have to note clearly all these things that is is there concomitant is there alteration is there extension from one part to other part negative generals are if they are present the causative factors unexpected deviations sensation as if as well as onset all these things are important to note down <coughs> then which things it was affecting the condition of the patient so is it environmental factors occupational factors or other exogenous influences on the case must be depicted so which factors affect which factors cause 
the patient's condition or which factors aggravate the condition of the patient it must be note down we have to find out these factors then the background of the case that is past history family history must be in preview so the background of the case it was very much important because the these are the things with which we have with the help of which we have to find out the uh, or it was helpful to find out us the temperament of the patient the miasmatic background or is there any disease conditions which are uh, uh, transmitted from one generation to other generations is, is it is there tendency of any disease in the family so the background of the case that means the family history past history it is very important while taking the case as well as while constructing the totality the so techniques of ascertaining the totality of symptoms which things we have to consider while constructing the totality so the particular symptoms then present complaints then history of present complaints then past history family history and personal history we have to consider while constructing the totality of symptoms totality of symptoms is equal to new phrase coined by dr d castro according to dr d castro the totality of symptom is nothing but essential total of the symptoms case receiving case perceiving and evaluation of symptom are prerequisite conditions for erecting the totality of symptoms so for erecting the totality of symptoms for constructing the proper picture of the disease condition of the patient then these three steps are very much important and when these steps are when we take the case properly we perceive the symptoms we evaluate the symptoms properly then only we can able to construct or erect the totality so case receiving case perceiving and evaluation of symptoms are the prerequisite conditions for erecting the totality of symptoms totality of symptoms is essential for building of repertorial totality for repertorization so after constructing the totality we with the help of totality of symptoms we have to construct the repertorial totality what is repertorial totality means we have to convert the totality of symptoms into the language of repertory so the totality of symptoms is essential for constructing the repertorial totality for repertorization concept of boning husen he processed on the hypothesis that the totality was not only the sum total of symptoms but was in itself one grand symptom the symptom of the patient and that whether the individual parts of the symptoms were considered or the grand symptom the totality itself so as we discussed earlier that while constructing the totality it should be construct as a grand symptom so the totality itself 
in the totality itself three factors must be present that is location sensation and conditions of aggravation and amelioration under location the part organ or tissue involved in the disease process we have to consider then under sensation the kind of pain the kind of sensation and the functional or organic change characterizing the morbid process we have to consider under sensation and conditions of aggravation and amelioration the circumstances causing exciting increasing or otherwise affording modification or relief of suffering so all the circumstances causing increasing exciting factors we have to consider then concomitant symptoms was added by him emphasizing that the doctrine of totality of the case which must include the concomitants so concomitant symptoms are very much helpful for finding out the exact minimum so they are very much important while constructing the totality he says that the concomitant symptom is the totality what the condition of aggravation and amelioration is to the single symptom so what the condition of aggravation and amelioration is to the single symptom in other different symptom the it may differ that is aggravating and ameliorating factors it may differ in the other symptom but the concomitant symptoms we have to consider the concomitant symptoms for the totality not for each and every symptom morning usain first conceived the idea of clinical completing symptoms partly by analogy and partly by observation of curative effects as we all know in philosophy of btpd we have discussed in detail about doctrine of analogy that dr boning usain he gave importance or he advised the physician to take each and every symptom as a complete symptom but there were difficulties while completing or while taking each and every symptom as a complete symptom so he advocated a new doctrine to the homeopathy that is doctrine of analogy so dr boning usain he conceived the idea of clinically clinical completing symptoms partly by analogy and partly by observation of curative effects he discovered that many of the modalities of case were general in their relation the totality of symptoms is not only the sum total of symptoms but is in itself one grand symptom the symptom of the patient which we discussed already the totality of symptom is the disease what the man the ego is to the organism it is that which gives individuality and personality so after constructing the totality we can able to individualize the person because or we have or we get the proper image of the patient as well as disease so it is easy to individualize the person as well as individualize the medicine with the help of totality of symptoms 
then dr boni hussain he considered the totality which was to be represented by the sum total of characteristic features of the case that help to distinguish one particular patient from another suffering from an apparently similar condition so if two persons they are suffering from for example any disease condition they were suffering from typhoid fever then after constructing the totality of both patients we can able to distinguish one patient from the another patient though they are suffering from the same disease condition and he explains his method of arriving at the totality of the case in the article in his article a contribution to judgment concerning the characteristic value of symptoms so in this article he explain his method of totality how to construct the totality he said it is seen however that it is here left to the physician to judge what is understood by the more striking peculiar unusual and peculiar particular unusual and peculiar symptoms and it might indeed be difficult to furnish a commentary to its definition which would not be too diffuse and therefore easily understood and on the other hand would be complete enough to be properly applied to all these cases so for when we are going to reportrize the case with wikipd then for every case which we reportrize with the help of wikipd we have to construct the totality according to the criteria given by dr boni hussain and while constructing the totality he he characterized the symptoms and which he elucidated by seven points so he include following seven points for arriving at the totality that is quiz what is quiz that is the changes in the personality and temperature of the sorry temperament of the individual and then came second point that is quiz quiz is nothing but the disease its nature and peculiarity or disease individualization then you be you be means the seat of disease that means location of the disease in short then cubus oxalis it means concomitant symptoms then cure that is cause of the disease means prima causa morbi then cumodo cumodo means modifying factors modalities and lastly the seventh point, seventh point is quando quando means the time factor or the modalities related to time so in this way these are the seven points with the help of which we can able to find out the characteristic symptom of the patient that means quiz quid ub tubus auxilis cure tumodo and condo so these are the seven points and all these seven points which include all the essential essential aspects for procuring a complete totality of symptom 
and the mental symptoms according to dr boni hussain he use or he advise the mental, uh, we have to use the mental symptom for the differentiation of remedy during the final selection of similino so from all these things it was clear that dr boni hussain he gave more importance to complete symptom that is location sensation modality and concomitants as well as to the causative factors and other abnormal symptoms so this was the concept of totality according to dr boni hussain so as he was the follower of dr hanemann 